getting our... <laughs> okay, we're nuts. All right, 919. So, in case you didn't know, it's made from the blue agave plant. Tequila is distilled, a distilled beverage which comes in many varieties. And with it being National Tequila Day, we are taking a closer look at ways to use the popular spirit for more than just a margarita. I actually watched a video on YouTube about how this is all done. It's fascinating. So Nicole Young is the CEO of Frisky Whiskey, a food and spirit enthusiast. She joins us with a few ways to add tequila into the kitchen, <laughs> in it, into the mix. I mean, anything, I guess. Especially, we'll do. Especially at 9 20. We'll do, all right. The same way you cook with wine, vodka, tequila can also be used. So let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, ladies. All right. You're gonna barbecue put us to work sauce. Too. Yes. It can be used for barbecue That's sauce. That's exactly right. Barbecue sauce. So this is a smoky tequila barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. <clears throat> We're gonna whisk this up right now. Okay. So in this bowl, you have some tequila, you have tomato sauce, you have Dijon mustard, you have agave, which as you guys mentioned, yeah. is what tequila is made from. I have in there some apple cider vinegar, some seasonings. You whisk that all together. Okay, you put that on medium heat for a oh. couple minutes, then simmer it down to low heat for about 30 minutes. Okay. Let it cool, refrigerate it till you're ready to use it. You can put this barbecue sauce on anything. I put it on some is pork chops. Is that a done one? This is a done one. This is how it looks when it's finished. Okay. The flavors come together once you let it sit for a little while. You can put it, like I said, on some pork mm. chops. You can mm -hmm. do it on shrimp, you can do it on chicken. I would love for you ladies to try okay. a little bit of that pork so chop. So this already has it on. That already has it on there. So I basically marinated the pork chops can in that. Can I dip that. it again? You can dip it again if you want. Why not? Mm -hmm. Just don't double dip. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. What does it add to the flavor? So the tequila, I use an Añejo tequila, which has a lot mm. of honey Excellent. notes in there, some vanilla, some raisin. So that okay. really just amps up the flavor and blends really nicely in a barbecue sauce. I like Añejo for cooking because of those notes. It just okay. brings out a lot of spice and a lot of flavor in your food. What do you think? It's spicy. It right? Is, spicy. It's really good. In a good way, I hope. Okay. Mm, very good. Awesome. As I talk with my mouth. You can also <laughs> use it in dressing. I also use Your tequila turn to whisk. in salad whisk dressing. Whisk away. So this is a miso tequila salad dressing. So in here I have miso paste, some mayonnaise, I have tequila of course, spices, olive oil, a little bit of orange juice. Once you whisk that all together, mm -hmm. bring those flavors together, you can dress a salad, you can dress grilled vegetables, you can dress your crudite platter, anything you want in this dressing. Again, I use mm -hmm. Añejo tequila like I said before because I want that little slight sweetness but with the bite to just bring that salad dressing alive. So I went how to an much event. tequila are we talking so it's not overpowering? <laughs> okay. You know, like I don't, I don't want, want a salad that. and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. I don't want you to be crunked off right. the salad dressing. So <laughs> right. this is just about a half ounce of tequila, a splash really. Okay. You're really just using that the way you would use a little bit of acid okay. to brighten that up. Okay. And Try that so salad little, and let me know what you think of the dressing. Is it in there? It's in there already. Oh, it I tossed in there. it. This is a mixed green salad with some charred asparagus and charred carrot sticks. Tell me what you think of that. I went to an event recently and they said they had no salad. I said, why not? They said, oh, nobody eats the salad. You can wake up the salad well, and make good. it exciting, mm -hmm. right? If you add a little bit of tequila to your dressing. The dressing is very light, too. That's, that's the idea. You don't want it to be overpowering. Like I said, you don't, don't want to be like, tequila. you don't want a DUI off of the salad dressing, right? You want it to just be an added flavor. Keep it away from your children. Okay. Exactly. The kids don't need this. This no. is adult friendly eating here. And next, oh, of course. Obviously, cocktails. Obviously, yeah, we no. have to make a cocktail, right? Okay. Now, people gravitate towards the margarita. Yeah. This is sort of an easier scaled down cocktail that's simple and clean and refreshing. Let's so try I it. have here a cup full of ice. I'm going to add a little bit of silver tequila this time. Mm -hmm. I like Patron. I prefer the Reposado, but that's just me. You know what? We all have our preferences, okay? <laughs> I'm using a silver in this. this okay. Oh, I'm spilling it. This is Patron silver, okay. which is really the gold standard in tequila. Okay. It's simple. I like it. There's only three ingredients in there, so you know what you're getting. This is lemon? This is some lime juice. Okay, I'm going to add okay. a little bit of lime juice in there. Now I'm going to add. You're going to be the taste tester, because I have another hour. No, no, no. So I have some virgin <laughs> ones for you guys. So oh, here's okay. what we're going to do. Now I top this off. This drink is called a ranch water. This Ooh, is a okay. very classic tequila cocktail, and it's very refreshing and easy, but here are the virgin ones for you guys. But before okay. you sip these, okay. what I like to do to kind of wake this cocktail up if you <gasps> wanted to play around, mm. this is fresh grape puree. Ooh, I just put grapes nice. in the blender, puree it, yeah, run it nice. through a fine mesh sieve. Now, when you add a little splash of that, Look at that. into your drink, it's a Barbie Stir drink. that around. It's almost a Barbie core dab. drink. Just a little mauve, a little though. Dab. This is not our Barbie core hot pink, but we're going in that direction, right? Ooh, the bubbles. Right? You like that? 
Ooh, I, I like that. Can you get the idea? The, the tequila was in Ooh, there, right? I like that. Mm -hmm. The Patron Silver is really smooth. It's clean. It's only got the 100% uh, blue Weber agave in there. Very good. Yeast and water. That's okay. it. So you know what you're drinking when you have What's Patron this one on Silver? the end really quickly? This yeah. on the end is a fun little cocktail smoothie hybrid. Ooh. This is a virgin one for you also. Yes. So this is a stone fruit. Like stone fruits one. are in season right now. So in here, I just blended some vanilla ice cream mm. with some stone fruit juice, which is basically a mix of apricot, and peach juice. This tastes and like a, a cream sickle ice cream. Like a cream sickle, Ooh. right? Now, if you added the <laughs> tequila good. to that, that would be adult friendly. The silver again blends nicely. You know what I forgot? Though? This would I be a this would be a one and done for me right here. With a little bit. Of this is really a cream sickle. Mint is how you finish oh. this one off. Oh wow! Little bit of mint, so some pretty. mint leaves in there, right? Make it pretty. Yeah. Make it bright. Cheers. Hold on, I want to cheers too. All right. Oh yay! Here you go, ladies. Oh, this cheers. is so good. Thank you so much. Thank really you. great Thank ideas, for Nicole. Me. Thank great you. Great to have you. Um, and we'll we'll be sure, obviously, to share her recipes online as well. If I make it past this segment.